Hello, this is Jake, and welcome back to my automotive channel. Today we're looking at what is a very, very nice car. Um, I'm actually borrowing this off a friend because my new car was put back about a month or two months. So hopefully picking up very soon. But I was lending this car, looked after it, as long as I looked after it, as long as I've done one repair, which I'll point out to you all. Uh, but anyway, here it is. It is a Mercedes-Benz 1999. 320 and it yes it's the v6 and what a car this is the comfiest car i've ever driven um i've done around 600 miles in it now well, probably a little bit more uh, this car has four service history it has only 39,000 miles on it which is um yeah that's crazy uh couldn't believe it when he said i thought it'd be more than that and i've always wanted one of these uh, you always see the convertible um, but I'm not interested in the convertible. I always like this one just because of the rear ends. Um, they just remind me of the um, DTM cars back in like the early 2000s. Um, if you don't know what that is, that's Dutch touring car. A bit like British touring car. But I can remember these and I, can al I always like the back ends of these. Um, so when he said, oh, well, you can borrow it until your new car arrives, I was like, yes. Um, it's automatic, uh, 3.2 litre, obviously. Um, the interior is spotless, like really spotless. Um, I'm just cleaning it out because it's going back. Um, it's going back in a few days because my new car is due next week. So it will be going back. So I'm just cleaning it out. Um, it's even in the boot, got the original mats. The original floor mats are still in the boot of this one. Um, he's using these mats down here at the moment, which are Mercedes-Benz ones. Um, but they're not the original mats. The original mats are in the boot and they look like they've never been used, to be honest. Um, I love the wheels on these too. The wheels are really nice. Now, these are prone to rust. And I know one that's about 10 minute drive from here in a baby blue color. And the rust on it's ridiculous. Like the seals all the way around skirts, right across to the rear skirts, at the rear seals. Absolutely terrible. This one has very, very minor uh, bubble rust coming up in the front wing down here um, also a little bit on the bonnet there but other than that um, it's had a knock on the rear bumper sadly which is not the uh, greatest just see down here um, yeah not the best so that's unfortunate but other than that the interior is the, well first of all the paint's nice um, if we just open it up, look at this interior. Um, it's got a CD player in at the moment, and I was just trying out Metallica. <laughs> but it does come with the original cassette player there as well, with serial code, which is nice. Um, like I said, automatic. Um, everything works. The blind in the back, there's a blind up there. Um, there's also the original medical kit and i can just show you the mileage now as it goes off one second 38955 which is crazy and yes it's due a service which i think he's getting done next week as well um there you go all this it's all there pocket here um, just need a clean down now where my partner's foot scrubbed the uh, getting in and out of the car. It's got sensors front and back, which is really nice. Um, I try and not rely on car sensors, but these actually, these are really good. Um, these work perfectly. Um, let me just try and spin around. The rear seats, as far as I'm aware, have never been used. I got paperwork with it. Just um, so if I was ever said well it's not your car um i'm insuring it and i got permission to drive it which is absolutely fine um but yeah there you go it, you know the interior is yeah it's perfect um no damage to the seats even the driver's seat um all, all driver seats go here you see some bit of wear but nothing nothing mad um skirt covers here as well so scratch the body which is nice um, took me a while to get used to the old handbrake procedure because your handbrakes down now with the pedals 
uh, which I've never had before. Uh, fully working sunroof as well. Um, let's take a look at the hood, under the hood, I should say. There's a lever down here. Let me just go around. Uh, one of the repairs I had to do was this new hood ornament. Uh, on the condition that I use the car, I get the hood ornament sorted. So I had to order a brand new one of them up. But there you go, there's the engine bay, there's the lovely V6. Um, yeah, it's absolutely perfect. No, you know, suspicious leaks or anything like that. No corrosion to the subframe. Um, I believe this one's chain driven as well. Um, I'm not 100% sure on that. I don't know my engine too much and it's my first V6. So the only engine I've had anything near this was the flat sits of my 911. Um, I will open the boot, which you can do on the key or there's also a button down now. The only reason I'm doing it by key is because it shoots up and it's quite violent. It comes up quite fast and I just don't, I don't like it. <laughs> How fast it comes up. Original triangle, there's the original floor mats. Um, <laughs> Even the original case with light bulbs in, spare light bulbs, fire extinguisher, uh, you know, this car has everything. Uh, I've never been a, you know, a massive fan of Mercedes, but like I said, this is one I would um, like to own one day, actually. If he ever sells it, I'll probably um, see if I can make him an offer. And considering it's a V6, considering the engine size and everything, I'm getting between 36 to 40 MB, MP, MPG at the moment, um, which is crazy. And I didn't believe it at first. After speaking to some of the guys on the forums, it's pretty much what these can do as long as you drive it properly and don't mess around and everything. Um, but yeah, there you go. It's, it's a stunning car, it really is nice. Um, everything works, which is fantastic. Um, and my first Mercedes I've ever driven. Um, I, my dad had the model before this. He had two of them actually, in gold. Um, and I remember them quite, quite fondly actually. I always remember going out in them, uh, even a road trip once, which I can't really remember where that was to. But yeah, and he had lights the front end again. I like the front end. The later models, they started making these a bit more curved, and then they blended into two again. Um, uh, blended into one light, which not a massive fan of. And again, you always see these convertibles. Um, I can't, I can't tell you how many I've seen in the last month of owning this one. How many convertibles I've seen, and I've only seen one blue, and the rest have all been silver. Um, you always see silver and black Mercedeses. Um, as I say, I don't see state up there, black Mercedes. Um, and usually these, especially I've seen the convertibles, have the grey interior. And no matter what you do with the mileage, when you go up in the mileage and that, the driver's seat, they just go an arbor colour. And there's no real way, and apart from having the seats redone, there's no way of getting rid of that. Um, and again, these seats are perfect. And there's a bit of an indent where you sit, but you're gonna get that anyway because the car is used. Um, it's been garaged as well for 10 years. Um, still been used, just garage, parked up at night and everything, which is nice. Um, let's shut that door. But there we have it. That is this stunning Mercedes. Now I'm actually going to take it for the car wash because you can probably see it is absolutely filthy. Um, where we live, it just gets dusty. The stuff off the trees, the pollen and everything, and the car's covered in it. So I'm going to take it for the car wash, uh, ready for taking it back home. But yeah, there we have it. That is this lovely Mercedes. And um, let me know what you guys think. If you want to see more on it, let me know because we see him quite regularly. Um, he's only done in Bristol. So yeah, thank you all for watching. And please remember to like and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Bye for now.